I'm not good with the controller. So. Yeah, after it evolved past an A and a B button. <laughs> yeah. Um, the new UFC Undisputed 2009 <laughs> video game. I'm pretty superstitious. So like, if I'm getting knocked out in a video game, I don't know, I'm just gonna, I'll, 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 I have weird moments like that, but I really, I try not to let it phase me that much. Oh. I don't know how to. Oh, <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, that was the first time you've ever won. Uh, yeah, now I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Yeah. I won, I'm good. <laughs> Playing these games and, and being an MMA fighter as well, it'd be uh, like awesome for me to one day like actually like be part of the roster or something like in the game. I added it to like the list of like stuff that has to happen before I stop or <laughs> retire or whatever. I, I want to get into a video game. We made a, uh, I called it the Mortal Kombat tribute. <laughs> I'm the, the retarded shirtless guy. While attending Temple University, Matt found an outlet for his two greatest interests, filmmaking and MMA. None of these people understand. None of these people know what it's like. What it's like to be infamous. We have a plan. If you enact a plan, you're gonna win. I mean, he's a very talented, very well-rounded, strong athlete, good fighter. It's two very well-matched athletes. Draw back three. Fade away hook. There you go. One more time. Throw the one two first. Tongue pa. Moving, moving. Samala, tongue pa. Sun hope, sun hope. Sun hope. Good, breathe. Beautiful. But what I want is that he stays outside. He's got a really nice, strong, long jab. I want him to use his cut kicks and move. His cut kicks are sick. So I want him to kick, stay outside, move, circle, circle, because that's going to make the kid want to come at him. As he does, Matt's then going to change the game and get inside, use his inside punches, and press and stay close. If we do the right things at the right time, there's no chance he's going to lose. Justin, you can get small t-shirts or only extra larges. That's, that's all we need is extra large hats and shirts. Buddy, they better put the fucking things on this side because this shit looks stupid like this. Oh, nice. this one. Wait, is that good or what, bud? That looks better, Jer. You still, you still look a little retarded, but not quite as bad. Can you take me some ice cream afterwards, please? <laughs> you know please? Get, me get me a sponsor. Get me sponsors. Get me sponsorship. This shirt suck. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's not that they suck, I mean, it's the fact that you don't get anything for You never get me any sponsorships, <laughs> ever. Is Morning of fight, biggest dilemma right now, fucking hats. We begin the official weigh-in with our first bout tomorrow night, three rounds. Tonight and tomorrow is all about getting into the $175,000 tournament. I mean, this is big money. This is life-changing money. That's what this is about tonight. Our next bout to weigh in, three rounds in the welterweight division. Justin Torrey out of Springfield. Tari and Mikowski both had to cut weight to no more than 170 pounds to qualify. If they fail, it could mean an outright forfeit. Thousands of dollars lay in the balance. 170 pounds, 170 the official weight for Justin Tory, his opponent out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Matt Mikowski on the scale. 170 and one quarter pounds. 
Matt is a quarter pound overweight. bring him the other room and we'll strip him down unless you're alright with a quarter over and then it's strictly up to you. I figure it's a quarter with the That's pants. Coach, he's quarter over. I thought there was a pound leeway anyway. Okay. So, yeah. Well, yeah, as yeah. long as you're okay with it, we'll I'm amend the contract. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, so let's just admit, make sure we get that contract amended in the signatures for both of you guys and we're we'll okay. Yeah. Just have a little plus one, we'll sign it and we're yeah, gonna go. Uh, yeah, Don't forget to see the docs, guys. This is the first time I've seen uh, Justin, um, my opponent. Um, and you know he's he's about what I thought he would be about my size. You know he's not a super big guy, but you know he's about he's pretty big for a welterweight. It kind of always eases me a little bit when I get to see my opponent. I generally don't like to be around my opponent um, before fights or you know anywhere anywhere up until I'm actually in the cage with the guy. You see these other guys walking around a little nervous because they're questioning themselves right now. Do I belong in a cage? Should I be doing this tonight? Not Justin. Justin can't wait because he is a fighter. Fight night. Tori and Mikowski are equally matched. They come in at the same height, the same weight. Both have put in the hard work and made countless sacrifices. It's no longer about preparation. It's about who's going to crack and who will rise to the occasion. The second step at all time will be my command at all time. If you want to touch the glove, do it now, go back to your corner. Use his cut kicks and move. His cut kicks are sick. His sweep should definitely be there. He should be able to land at least one or two power tie kicks on him. Just seemed to choke. got in the ring the other night, I felt like I belonged. We're not gonna make money off you, we're gonna make money with you. Can you catch the UFC? <laughs> Team Tory. Team Tory. The winner, by way of unanimous decision, this is what I love and this is what I do. This is this is what I was born to do. I just gotta make sure that I'm really I'm, I'm cut out for this and that I can handle it. Justin!